this is a very exciting time to be a young farmer. Exciting in a way that was that's different from what it was for their fathers and grandfathers and so on. This is a new time. Society expects a lot of things of farmers. In fact, sometimes I think the agriculture sector is being asked to solve everything. But it's obvious that there are demands to produce food sustainably, safely, without problems with for the climate, respecting biodiversity, and also to make sure that we have healthy food. Future farmers are going to be far more uh, internet savvy, far more high-tech savvy, far more interested in the kinds of high-tech tools that we have today. And there are basically sort of two types of tools here. One is, of course, the, the IT and artificial intelligence, the sensors, uh, censoring individual animals, all the, 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 the streams you can imagine there. But there's also, of course, genetics, and improved genetics and fine-tuning genetics, all called precision genetics or precision farming, is really going to be the work of the future. And that's going to change very rapidly. That means also that the educational levels of young farmers will need to be much higher than young farmers in the past. And that it really is a matter of not just lifelong farming, but also lifelong learning. We understand that uh, the agri-food sector and, and the livestock sector is moving uh, towards this era of what I would call digitally enhanced farming, uh, where there's valuable data out there that is generated during very many stages of the day-to-day -day farming, where if we bring those together, we can optimize the health and welfare of these animals. We can also reduce the impacts of the animals. We ensure better traceability. We improve farm management and efficiencies and productivity. And we also support farmers in their everyday lives. I'm really impressed what has been done in the last few years, how many uh, new apps, how many new companies, how many new startups coming from young farmers, getting a startup uh, started in this sector. It's great to see uh, what has been done and uh, also uh, giving these young farmers uh, some support from the European Union to making programs where they can uh, get access to, to knowledge, get access to, to money is very important to make it together with, with the farmers, with young farmers and this innovative, innovative companies is for me something very, very uh, interesting and very important. Our cows all have indwelling boluses to measure temperature, rumination, water intakes, activity. And the information that that's giving us around cow behavior, picking up health problems, nutritional problems, has just been phenomenal. Um, we, we're using AI technology on farm to look at fecal egg counts in our, in our, in our feces. We're using diagnostic tools uh, to make decisions about what diseases are prevalent. So um, I've seen those tools and it's about an economic return from them because we can't just play around with them on the farm. It's a, it's a working farm. But one thing I have learned is that we have been sort of had a tsunami of data um, and it's, it's fantastic to have it. But unless we utilize that data into actions over time, uh, that's the key bit for me and that's why I'm actually interested in behaviour change and I talk about mindset because I see that on farm being absolutely key. Well, one of my goals in Animal Husbandry Day is uh, to use a variety of digital tools that allow me to monitor herd in real time so I would have an overview of the health of a whole herd and uh, specific information for individual animal. So if I have all the necessary information about my animals regularly, in that case their health and activity, the faster I as a farmer can make the decision that will make will help ensure animal health and welfare. The biggest obstacles uh, today is the cost of these new uh, digital systems, which unfortunately I as a beef farmer, young farmer, small farmer in general, cannot afford. And I think we've got to help farmers, we've got, we've got to do the education, we've got to use every tool we can to help people and diagnostic tools and innovation will help. And I think producers who, who move forward and innovate should be rewarded. And I suppose I'll finally, uh, I've been interested in this, but I think we've got to value leadership. Uh, social media was briefly mentioned. Social media is great, but it's also democratized opinion and made leadership difficult. And farmers are exceptionally sometimes challenged because of the perceptions of what they do. So populism is very easy. Leadership is hard. So my message to young farmers is that, um, you know, value leadership and not be afraid to show us the way because it's the primary producers on the ground that more than likely will uh, show us the way forward.